Hey guys, my question for you today, to anyone that's watching, is who are you? Who are you really? Who is the person that is watching this video right now? So yesterday I had somebody ask me, he says, who is Alicia? And I love, I love that question. Five, ten years ago, I wouldn't have known how to respond. My answer probably would have been, oh, okay, well, I'm 36 years old. I don't have any kids. I work in such and such. Um, I'm a life coach. Um, I would have described everything that I'm doing um, or everything that I have. And when I do ask these questions, this question to my clients, they usually respond with, okay, well, I'm married with three kids and I work in finance or whatever it is. And I love to do this in my spare time and on the weekends. That's not telling me who you are at all. You know, I feel like when, when you say things like that, like, you know, you say, okay, well, I've got kids and my name's this and I'm this age and I work in such and such, that's labels that you're putting on yourself. That is not who you are. You are not your job. You are not your age. You are not your name. I want to know who are you on a deep level, at a soul level? What is your heart saying to you? Who are you really? I want to know, what do you love? What do you hate? What frustrates you? What challenges you? What are your fears? What do you try hard not to feel? What is something that you've been holding on to that the world doesn't know about you? What makes you cry? What makes you smile? What makes you laugh? What makes you get excited? What makes you motivated? Like, who are you? If you could do anything in this world for free, what would you be doing? What do you want to do that you haven't tried yet? Everybody has a list, like a bucket list of things that they want to do or try that they haven't done. So my question to you is, why haven't you done it? What is holding you back? Is it fear? Are you scared of something? Are you worried about what people are going to think? Is that why you're not living your dream and the life that you want? Because you're worried about what people think? So these are questions that I want you to ask yourself to really get to know you. And it's questions that I had to ask myself years ago as well to really know who I was at a core level. I, I now know what makes me angry. I know what makes me smile. I know what makes me laugh. I know what makes me cry. I know what my strengths are. I know what my weaknesses are. I know what challenges me. I know what, what I need to work on and what I'm still working on at the moment. Like I know myself at a deep level because I've done the work. I took the time to ask myself those questions and really get to know me. So next time, I mean, it's not usually a question that people ask you, but if someone was to ask you, who are you? I hope you'll be able to answer that question. I really do. So please take the time and ask yourself, who am I at a core level? What legacy, <clears throat> what legacy do I want to leave behind to the world? What do I want... What do I want my life to stand for? What meaning do I want to give my life? Who am I really? So if you're up for it, I want you to write a list, like just right at the top of the page, like I would write, who is Alicia? And then whatever comes to me, I would just write. But I don't want you to think about it too much because you're going to get all up in your head and that is the whole point I don't want you to do. I want you to connect to your heart. When you think about it too much, you become logical. So the whole point is to just not think and just write down anything that comes to your mind straight away. And the more that you start writing, the more that you'll find that you will just write and write and write and write and write. And 
you will be very surprised at what you actually find on that page or who you find on that page. It, so it's a really, really powerful exercise. And again, ask yourself, like maybe write a list. Okay, what makes me cry? What makes me laugh? What are my fears? What am I scared of? What challenges me? Like maybe section it into pieces so you can really get to understand yourself and know yourself. So next time somebody asks you, who are you? You'll know how to answer. And I think it's also very important to, to understand yourself, to trust yourself. You need to know who you are. To, in order to live the life of your dreams and live the life you're meant to live, live um, on purpose, live your passion, you first need to find out who you are first. So hope you have fun with that and happy finding out who you are.